what's going on guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool looking trippy sky effect inside of after effects so the first thing we want to do is luma key out our sky right here so we're going to go up to the effects and presets and just search up luma and you should see luma key right here and once you have that you want to change this key out darker to key out brighter and you can see that your clip is now black because it keyed out everything so you want to change this threshold right here to somewhere where you keep most of your stuff in uh, like your composition right here without it clipping to black. But as you can see, the license plate right here and then the wheels and then the windshield are clipping a bit. So that uh, we might have to fix later. But for now, we can just feather this and for a threshold it's around 130 so that is just what we're going to be using for this clip and it's going to vary for all of uh, your guys's clips so it may be different for you but 137 and then a feather of like maybe a little bit more like seven looks good for mine so once you have your luma key you're done with this top layer so i'm just going to control c control v which is going to copy and paste it and on this bottom layer i'm just going to delete the luma key because we do not want that and I'll find a plugin called Psycho Stripes right here and put it on our bottom clip right here. Also, this is a Sapphire plugin. So if you do not have the Sapphire plugins, you will not be able to do this effect, but you could download the Sapphire plugins and try this out. So what I'm going to do is load my preset that I made a while back, which kind of creates this uh, stripe effect that I, I usually like to use in my videos. So I'm just going to load this preset up. All right, so I'm just going to zoom in and pause it on all my effects right here. So you can copy down all my settings that I have for the Psycho Stripes. And once you guys have those down, you can just resume the video and follow along with the tutorial. All right, so now that you guys have the settings down, you can play back the video and see that it's looking something like this now. It may look a bit different for you, but this is what the effect is looking like for me. So it's really cool. It's like this stripes kind of going up from the ground right here. Super sweet, but... You can also adjust the frequency. I think it's, where is it at? Yeah, the phase speed right here. I'll make it like 0 0.5. And you can see it's a lot slower now. So that's a pretty cool effect too. You can mess with the source scale. So if it's super high, then you're getting more of the stripes. So it's really crazy, trippy effect like that which could look cool. And then you can also mess with like the direction direction of the stripes. So like now it's moving kind of to the left, but I'm just going to keep it at negative 88. I just like how that looks. And as I said earlier, you can see how the license plate and the edge of the wheel right here also has the effect applied to it because uh, the Luma key keyed out these bright areas right here too. So if we want to fix that super quick, we can just make a rough mask around it. I'm just going to do it super fast doesn't have to be too perfect. Um, you could probably make it look better for your actual video, but since this, this is just a tutorial, I'm just going to make it super quick and simple. So now you can see that it's doing some crazy stuff right now, but just ignore that. So what I'm going to do is copy the mask layer, open up this bottom clip, delete the mask on that one, and go into our top layer and delete the Luma key on that one. So after those steps, you finally get the parts only going on the sky and not on the wheels and the license plate right here. So it's a pretty simple way just to mask out those areas. Another thing I like to add to this bottom layer right here with our Psycho Stripes is Scan Lines, which is another Sapphire plugin. And I just make the frequency like 100 so the lines are a bit smaller. And you can see it has a cool effect with the lines going on. You can also have it at 500. It also looks cool with the larger lines like that, but I'm just going to keep it at 100. Now, if you want to get even more crazy with this effect, you can add some more Sapphire plugins. So the Warp Chroma gives it a crazy looking effect. I'm just going to make the Z distance come towards me. So eight, 0 0.8. And look at that it's just like kind of reflecting the car on the edges right there which is giving it a crazy looking effect which could look cool in uh, your video but 
I think it's a little bit too much in this clip. So I'm going to keep that off. And another crazy effect you can add is S underscore distort chroma, which I use in a lot of videos. And you can just change the amount here, blur lens, and it's just doing <laughs> crazy looking effects. So that's with the on and here's with it off. So it kind of distorts the edges like that, which is pretty cool. <laughs> that is just crazy. I'm just going to delete that for that, but you guys can mess with that and kind of see how that looks in your videos. But yeah, this is pretty much the main thing, uh, the main effect that I'm kind of going over in this video. But obviously there's a lot more things you can do with this. So I'd like to see what you guys can do with this effect. So if you do create something cool with it, make sure to tag me and just share with me uh, what you guys did with this. So hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.